Welcome to the Know, I'm Meg Turney. I'm Ashley Jenkins. Breaking news, gamers are awesome at beating things. Including themselves. <laughs> and their meat. From challenging bosses to the latest memes, gamers can and will beat anything into the ground, also horses. All right, well, but for now, we've graduated to beating computers. That's one step up. Yes, a new study in science publication Nature shows that computers have nothing on gamers, especially when it comes to quantum mechanics. Suck it! Wait, so does this mean that we can and cannot beat the computer at the same time? That's quantum, right? Yes. Let's not start this, though, because we're going to get into it. The research conducted by scientists out of Denmark tasked gamers to help scientists improve a quantum computer, only gamers didn't actually know that that's what they were doing. Now, it didn't stop them from beating the shit out of it, of course. The game, called Quantum Moves, was based on an actual problem the scientists are having with improving quantum computer efficiency. Prior to the game's release, the scientists had a computer-developed algorithm to help them out. But analyzing the data from how gamers tackled the problem actually improved upon the algorithm. Suck it, computers! Your AI-controlled Dark Souls bosses have nothing on us, and neither do your quantum tasks or your moves. It's like, is that like a new dance game? Anyway. <laughs> yes, you tell me up, down, left, or right, and I will stomp on that arrow. So far, numerically generated algorithms created by computers have been significantly outperformed by the solutions gamers came up with, according to the study's findings. Apparently, Quantum Moves players came up with solutions the computers had never thought of, which isn't too surprising when you consider how much computers suck and we roll. Yeah, humans regularly solve complex problems that machines simply can't tackle, so it's not that far out. But it seriously is very cool that we're able to aid scientists in a way that a machine crunching numbers just can't. Yet. According to one scientist from Germany, the findings are pretty astounding. Physicist Tommaso Calarco from Ulm University said of the study, To me, it is more than surprising. It is really mind-blowing. Putting gamers to work in the world of science is actually nothing new, though. The crowdsourcing of scientific problems, often called citizen sourcing by the scientific community, has been done before. Go, you good citizens. Yeah. At this point, they should just call it gamer sourcing, because we're all the people it's who us. actually like, get into it. Uh, back in 2011, gamers solved the structure of a crucial enzyme in the reproduction of HIV through puzzle game Folded. That game also helped contribute calculations to a number of other prediction problems in protein structures. In 2013, researchers used the game Eterna to crowdsource new RNA designs that beat automated designs, furthering the research of self-assembling RNA molecules, which play a critical role in bioengineering. The EVE Online community is also taking a break from their massive corporate wars to contribute to the human protein Atlas by analyzing and tagging millions of scientific images. So yeah, we basically fucking rule in science, guys. Yeah. Somebody get a confetti popper. We've done Everybody, it. Everybody, yes. you guys. Yay, human race. And we will all fall someday, though. Uh, by the way, Quantum Move is the first time gamers have been able to apply the same citizen sourcing to the monumental task of quantum computing, though. And we've done a report on what quantum computing is before, but in case you didn't catch that, we'll try and keep it light and easy. Basically, quantum computing is a method of computation that could yield significantly faster results and exponentially more powerful computers than our current binary systems. A classic computer gets its instruction from binary bits that can be set to on or off states, zero or one. All numbers and letters can be assembled by combinations of strings of these bits. These strings enter the processor, form computations that tell your computer how to run your processor or draw an image or some boobs, you know, the important stuff. Very important stuff. However, with more complicated computations, these strings start to get really long, which of course take a lot longer to process. And that's where quantum bits come in. Quantum bits, or qubits, are made up of atoms that can exist in multiple states, meaning that it can be a one and a zero at the same time. Kind of like how Quantum Break can be working on Xbox One and broken on PC at the same time. We couldn't resist. Because of these multiple states, when the quantum strings go into the processor, multiple calculations can be performed all at the same time, giving you a lot more computational bang for your buck. Wink. Yeah, it can significantly shorten the string of typical bits, which is where all the extra speed comes from. Theoretically, part of the problem with quantum computing is that the atoms have to be isolated and slowed down because they're hyped up on Red Bull or something and they can just can't stop moving. To do that, quantum computers have to be much cooler than typical computers, and then the atoms have to be held still with lasers. Of course they do. By the way, the lasers create an energy cannon of sorts that the atom sits at the bottom of. Um, and all of that is the easy part. The hard part is getting those atoms together to perform bit strings and and getting atoms together to do the no-no dance is the specific problem that Quantum Move was asking gamers to solve. The actual problem for scientists involves shuffling atoms back and forth inside a quantum computer. Because the atoms move around so much, it can be difficult to pin down their movement, and making it for the lost atom lowers the computer's efficiency. In the game, this movement is represented by a wave of liquid because when you try to move the atom, it tends to slosh around, kind of unpredictably. So what players were actually doing was helping the computer figure out how to move the atom quickly and creatively without losing 
losing the atom's position. Getting a quantum computer to operate more efficiently is one of the biggest barriers of this new method of computing. So far, quantum computers seem to work really well for doing quantum specified tasks, but at the moment they don't perform much better than regular computers for everyday stuff that we ask our computers to do, like dial up the porn or show us boobs. Back in December, Google and NASA published that their quantum computer could solve a 1,000 plus binary optimization problem 100 million times faster than a classical computer. That's to say you can do in one second what it would take your super cool Oculus Rift gig to do in you know, 10,000 years or so. Yeah, sorry bro, it's not that cool even if it's water cool. How long does it take to get to 42? <laughs> really long time. A long time. But again though, it was a task that was designed specifically for the quantum computer. So it was kind of like Google held like a three-legged race and brought out a dude that actually had three legs. Uh, I know a lot of those people. <laughs> Still, there's a ton of potential for this in the future, and we're inching ever forward into a new millennium full of super fast computers that may or may not exist all at once. And the world is starting to take notice of this new method of computational horsepower. Hell, even Canada's handsome prime minister, what's his name, Justin Trudeau, is that it? He's Who so, cares? He's so handsome. Just look at him. He uh, school reporters on quantum computing just the other day. <laughs> all those cubits. Nothing you and can't dream do. And dreamy to boot, go mm. Canada. Yes, it is so cool, by the way, that they have a hot prime minister, whatever he is. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's, it's really cool, by the way, that gamers have shown we can play a part in aiding this fifth dimensional form of computing. In short, gamers rule, computers rule, suck it until they rise up and kill us all. So what do you guys think of gamers beating computers at quantum tasks? How long until they kill us all? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> and for future updates about quantum computing and how come gamers are the best and the best ever and won't die to the computers, like this video and subscribe to the know. Sup, Justin Trudeau. We're don't, all gonna die. Don't know if that's your actual name. I'm just guessing. Justin Trudeau sounds right. Sounds right. I Trudeau sounds him, Canadian. I just call him PM McDreamy. Yeah, ha, oh, absolutely. And there's a picture of him and Ryan Reynolds talking, and it's just like, I don't know who to sex first. Although one of them is a father. Maybe Justin Trudeau's a father. I don't know anything about him. Them dads, though. <sighs> Dilfs. Was the, was the three-legged thing a dick joke? Was it a dick joke? Though? It became a dick yeah, joke. Yeah, I was like, I feel like it's a dick joke. If it wasn't, it became one.